before we make dinner or while we're making dinner, because I make mine before I go live here, okay? Literally was just roasting some vegetables, some Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes. I burnt them, though. Um, okra, green beans, had some carrots, organic carrots, straight up out the, the soil. What else we had? Some, some mixed peppers. And then I made some baked chicken, uh, a honey Dijon, not honey Dijon, but just Dijon baked chicken with sweet onions. And I got that roasting right now. So when I'm done, I had not have my dinner while y'all are cooking your dinner right now. So we essentially all eat together. Okay? Because we wine out like that. What's going on, y'all? Happy Wednesday. I know it's a lot of wine going on out here, and we got it, okay? And um, just pat yourselves. I want y'all to hit your wine glasses for a second. Guess what? We're going live today. We're going live tomorrow, and we're going live Friday. We're going to start easing y'all into the five days a week, okay? And besides, I'm going to need a couple days off next week because I'm, 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 I'm going on my little spiritual sabbatical, okay? Um, I'm still going to work, but I just need a couple days for my spiritual sabbatical. It's December. And what they call that holiday that the Jews do? Hanukkah. Yeah. <laughs> Kwanzaa. Whatever it is, I'm taking my own, okay? <laughs> I've created my own calendar. I hope y'all got y'all Christmas shopping done, and I hope it's not much. These stores is empty. I was at Macy's earlier today. Nobody was in there. Nobody. I was just like, everybody got no money. Black Friday was empty, too. I don't know what's going on with y'all, okay? Listen, full two shows for you guys, okay? This show, definitely going to be talking about Jeezy and Jeannie Ma. The divorce feels like uh, America versus Vietnam War. <laughs> I can live, it seems like I caught everybody off guard with that one. <laughs> Definitely going to be talking about Neo's ex-wife. Okay, new show with Safari. I told you she had a new show. My wine is, is real strong. Okay? Definitely going to be discussing uh, the wife swaps that we got going on between uh, Amy Robach and TJ Holmes. And there, her husband's name is, what is that man's name? Andrew Shu. And then what's his wife's name? TJ Holmes' wife? Merrily Figley. Filey. Whatever, I don't know. I don't know why it's just not Holmes, okay? We, we just need some easier last names, okay? Definitely going to be talking about Diddy desperately trying to fix his image, okay? And Young Miami is, too. I don't know if y'all noticed that. And uh, while we were preparing this story, um, Diddy got some real, real uh, download news, okay? Going to be discussing that and much more coming up, and especially, like, don't let me forget, okay? Because I've been holding this interview for a minute, all right? Kenzie from Deja Vu, the man in wig that tried to snatch me from behind and fight me a couple times. But when the other man in wig met her at, at, at her, uh, uh, her level, she got quiet. She got real quiet, okay? We had a face-off in Los Angeles when I went. I called her over to my house, gave her the address, set her down, and I interviewed her, okay? And I got to tell you, this is a real, real uncomfortable interview, okay? So we're going to pay a portion of that interview here. And then if you want to see the extended version, that will be available on TashaKLive.com tonight after our TashaKLive.com show that we're going to have coming up, okay? And I'll I'll uh, give you the deets on who's going to be a part of that show as well, too, okay? But in the meantime, before we get started, we got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means boldly raise a glass, too. We'll be right back. Y'all need to be like, share and subscribing and you have to subscribe in order to talk here okay my house my rules let's go i'm gonna be honest with you kenzie i was excited to meet you <laughs> oh that was exciting that wasn't exciting so you were really mad at me at the I, I was mad i was really mad you wanted to kill me no i didn't and i would <laughs> i would never go i was never going to touch you at all you know, I spice things up. I get things rolling because if I don't do it, nobody else is going to do it. Everybody sits and they look at me to create every storyline and drama. And if it wasn't for me, it wouldn't have went the way it would have went. See, I've, I've never been the type to sugarcoat anything, especially in the, at any given moment, okay? Now, I could have a But you got to be able to back that shit up sometimes, Tasha, because your uh, mouth is 50, girl. I'll fight. You're, you don't have to fight, but girl, your mouth make you make a bitch wanna just I know, that's right in your mouth. That's fine. <laughs> Excuse me. That's because, yeah. And that's fine. Like, but that's that's lacking emo that's lacking self-control. 
You understand what I'm saying? That's self control when you talk to people. Yeah. And, and I'm 26, girl. You should have. Exactly. If you give me more loving, Tasha, if you had gave me more loving and you give people more loving. I'm giving we, you love now. But I'm saying, and prior to disrespecting, then now you want to give love. I was in the heat of the moment. I saw. A trans woman. What you seen it on TV before? Being up, yeah, and I thought it was staged. I didn't think it was real. Nothing is on now that TV is staged. We're a real wall. That's why we have what, the people that. We and have. I told them they need to put y'all in different houses. No, because... you need your research. <laughs> no. You need to do your research on how what, what we bring to the table. It should have warned you about us because we're we're nothing to play with. This is not no scripted. You stop here. You stop here. They put us in the house like this, and whatever happened happens the, the film is going to catch it the camera's going to catch it there's no editing nothing out there's no oh i got so much love for you kenzie i'm not going to put that out they're going to put it out i'm that one bitch i'm that one yeah. bitch i'm that one bitch i'm that one you got a whole dick between your legs whoa 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 bitch you don't know me i do my mama will eat you bitch my mama will eat you bitch you my mama will eat you bitch, bitch. You you bitch. You you bitch. You got me fucked up, bitch. What the fuck? This is crazy. I'm gonna get that bitch. I'm gonna get that bitch. Tasha. Hi, my Casamigo. Tasha. Tasha, can I, let me take a sit with you. Tasha, let me take a sit with you. Deja vu, see you. Wait, 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 wait. Y'all see Cedar's world out there standing on business with heels on. I ain't scared of nobody now, not now. Okay? Called her over to my house. He, him, she, whatever. And said, what's going on? Now, I had two Latinas waiting on her just in case she wanted to get about it. But I, I figured she knew if I'm inviting her to my house, then she's going to come into my house respectful. This is my house. So, we're going to watch a portion of that later on in the show and the extended version where it gets really messy is on tashaklive.com and i do encourage you to go watch the reunion if you haven't watched the reunion on now that's tv.net okay that's the realest tv that i've ever seen okay now let me go and get my wine i, I don't put oil on my hands let me see let me what happens when you use tea tree oil on your hands okay I'll tell you what I'm drinking a little bit later, but I'm going to go ahead and pull on up. All right. Who's first? Let's see. All right. In wife swap news. So apparently, uh, let's start with TJ Holmes first. Okay. So TJ Holmes is the black guy. Amy Robach is the white woman. Okay. This is her husband at the bottom. Well, they're all divorced now. But this was her husband, Andrew Shue. And then this was TJ Holmes' wife. Uh, Merrily Fi Finley or Figley or something. I don't, uh, yeah, Fi Big. Fi Big. Okay, I think that's her last name. Okay, she she doesn't want it at Holmes anymore, even though I thought that would have been a simpler name. Okay, keep the name as your kids. Okay, now they got a little wife swap going on. Now, interesting enough, um, these two have hit a red carpet uh, here recently, and they've been doing a lot of interviews and trying to launch their podcast and trying to get their name out there, and they're trying to sell this shit to us, their relationship, but we don't want to buy. Them the only two that want to buy from each other, we don't want to buy, okay? Now, um, apparently he's trying to blame, um, you know, he said once the, I guess the affair came out, when, it, it, and I don't understand why all of a sudden, like, this is a problem. So TJ says, once the affair came out, he succumbed to drugs and alcohol and the suicidal thoughts and all types of stuff because it came out. And I'm confused about that because he was sleeping with everybody on the job. Everybody. They said if it was a secretary, the, sec the assistant secretary, the CEO, the janitor women, everybody, the, the, the uh, Uber driver, the uh, deliverers that deliver the same lunch up to the studio every day, they said he was hitting them all, allegedly. So I just don't understand why this particular relationship made you turn to drugs and alcohol and, and, and suicide, wanting to un unalive yourself and everything like that over a white woman? Or was it that lawyer wife? That lawyer wife of yours that you wasn't ready for? The smoke. Now, 
They done did what uh, Steph Curry and Aisha's uh, uh, parents have done. Well, Steph Curry's parents, okay? Because, you know, Steph Curry's parents were sleeping allegedly with the neighbors. And that was a white couple. So Steph Curry's parents are kind of half black, half white. And so they walked across the street. The wife walked across the street, and he did. I think they had some swinging things going on. I can't confirm that, but I'm trying to figure out how is it that both of them, okay, were sleeping with another couple, which means... You know what they be, you know what goes down in Hollywood as Diddy and we'll talk to him later. Mhm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. But um I can't say that I'm mad at this couple here. Now apparently he this ain't the first time he's been cheated on and this ain't her first time cheating on somebody like her ex-husband. Matter of fact, I think she cheated on her ex-husband with him. And I guess how you get them is how you, you lose them. And then he he just sleeps with everybody on the job. So I figured if his wife worked with him, she would have had a better chance of saving her marriage. Um, yeah, I just, I, 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 nobody wants to be out here in the street, so why not just walk across the street and get your, get your man or get your wife, okay? We're wishing all these couples the best, okay? Let's go. All right, up next. I got to get my wine going, okay? Hold on. Mm, mm, mm. This is some good Chardonnay. It's a nice little bottle to it. Look expensive. I hope not. We running low over here at Christmas time, too. I did my little Christmas shopping yesterday. Not much. I bought mostly for myself. But we'll talk about that later, okay? All right, now I told you they were lying. I told you Safari and Crystal was lying because Crystal was just announced on WeTV's new show called, let me pull it up. Hold on for a second. Let me get it. It's called the, why is it not pulling up? Hold on, I got it. Get my little glasses to you, know I'm old. We TV age and is nothing but a number. The new series, Bold and Bougie, follows a group of extraor extraordinary, did I say that right? Extraordinary and fearless women who refuse to let societal expectations or age define them. What's the age difference between Safari and Crystal? I know she's an old stripper hoe. That's what the Neo met her. That's where he met her. So they just posted this yesterday. I told you they leaked them pictures to me. So Crystal 42, the Safari 42, they he look young. And Crystal is 35. I don't believe that. I don't believe that because she's not aging gracefully at all. She just got an old face. When you look at her without them filters and stuff like Crystal, it, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. So she is now, uh, she's not uh, the star of the show. Now, apparently, I don't know who this lady is right here. I, I do know Tamika. Uh, what, you got the names right there? Okay, so it's Malaysia, Tamika, uh, Raymond, Usher's ex-wife. Is Go Gocha. Okay. She's a hairstylist, apparently. Princess, producer princess. And then, of course, Crystal Renee and her love interest is Safari. Now, I did have a little bird drop by and tell me something. That Safari's been trying to make his girls or women tattoo or get a, a certain tattoo that he's always wanted to share with a woman. And apparently, Crystal has gotten that tattoo, and that tattoo ceremony is going to be a part of the show, okay? So if y'all going to watch this boring-ass show, I'm going to watch it because Tamika in it. I like Tamika, and I like Malaysia. But her, huh? unless she's going to be doing lines, I don't want to see it. But congratulations, though, to this whatever this is, you know? You know, unless she, like I said, unless she's going to be skiing, I don't want to see it. Because I want the real crystal on the skis, on the slopes, okay? Moving on. Jeannie, Mai, and Jeezy. Oh, this divorce is, 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 is taking a nasty turn. Like I said, it's America versus Vietnam. Y'all remember the Vietnam War? When we was at war? Yeah, that's what's going on between these two, okay? Now, apparently, she done got some, uh, some news and some proof that Jeezy you know, been been doing Jeezy. I guess she thought she was good enough. You know, you know the Latina women and the the Blasian and the Asian women coming out saying that you know black women need to be just a little bit more softer, or 
you know, we're already the, we would be the winning race because our bodies are the best, you know? And so what they do is borrow a couple of things from us. Like she borrowed a dashiki and some ethnic earrings and everything. And now she wearing a, 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 a bob like how them white girls be wearing when they date black men. Look at her. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? They start morphing into their version of what a black woman would be or if they had, if they had to be a black woman, you know, wearing dashikis and stuff. Yeah, just all try, trying to cook collard greens with shrimp instead of smoked turkey. And so, you know, she's claiming that she had no clue that Jeezy was filing for divorce. And I kind of believe her. I really do. Because he went and filed for the paperwork three months prior then they went and, and he didn't he signed it no he didn't file he signed the paperwork because if you look at the date of filing it says that he signed it three months prior and three months prior to that they were in vietnam working on their marriage probably screwing too and you know according to jeezy's best friend he loves being over there in korea and vietnam so he gets his best packages and stuff over there that he ships back you know what I'm saying? He he not waiting on Alabama to uh to bring him anything. He's gonna go get it. That's what he said. His words, not mine, okay? I'm just telling you, all right? So he needed a plug, and I guess, you know, Jeannie wouldn't wasn't about that life. But he has a pattern though. He really has a pattern. I think Jeezy doesn't like women with kids. I just don't, because every single one of his baby mothers, every time they got pregnant, he left. I think he feels like having children in the house slow him down. He needs a woman, because he's a bitch, you know, to pour all of themselves into him. I think he's the type that gets jealous over his kids. I really do. Over the time that they take, like, because the women supposed there are, and this is true, women really do this. Like, I mean, men really do this. It's like when women start to have babies, I've heard men talk about that they get jealous at the time because they have to now split the time. He can't just go in there and ask for no ass. You know, the baby in, in the middle. And so he goes and finds one with no kids, but then he want to hit it raw. So then we're making another baby. But I believe her when she says she didn't know because he did pander to her and lead her on, waiting for that book to do well. And then he ran in for the kill and tried to blame it on her, talking about black men don't cheat. But Jeannie said you did, and that's your wife. And I'm inclined to believe her, given your track record. Okay? We don't believe you no more, Jeezy. Black men do cheat. <laughs> Moving on. Let me see what they talking about in the comments real quick. How y'all doing? Can y'all hear me? I know I'm talking kind of low today. That's because I've been yelling all day. Can y'all hear me? Y'all good? Sound is good? Quality is good? Somebody said, pick a side. He needs a vasectomy. He ain't gonna get one because he, you know, he ain't got, he ain't got that much manhood anyway. So he, he swear that's gonna be the end of it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. They said no more Jeezy, please. He's a creep. Y'all feel sorry for Jeannie though? I really don't. Not the way she did her ex-husband. That was a nice white man. He was a good man, Savannah. He was a good old redneck. Love to go hunting. Just wanted a few babies and went out there and said, you know what, Jeannie, I'm done with you. Went out there and got him a blonde redneck. She stay at home with them babies all day while he go catch deer. Absolutely. <sighs> Thank y'all so much. Y'all said I look cute. Thank y'all. I think I got this from Lily's Closet. Yeah. I think she got a few left. So I ain't get it for free, though. I wish I could. I'm trying to get a deal with her. Like, girl, come on. You know you see me all the, all the time on your site. Hook me up. Nobody feels sorry for her. I don't either. Okay. Moving on. Let's go. <sighs> diddy, 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 diddy. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> so as I'm putting together the lineup for today, and I'm here to tell y'all that Diddy out here trying to save his reputation. That's all I wanted to come out here and tell you. He's in court with DeLeon after he done trashed the, oh, the who is the maker of DeLeon? Hold on. Let me see who he got this contract with. Give me one second, okay? Hold on. The distributor 
of Dalion. Hold on, because I don't want to give y'all no uh, inaccurate information. Hold on. So he's been in court with the distributor. Who is it? They right there? But they didn't say their name? Okay. It says Diago, Diageo, North America. Okay, now Diageo, North America was responsible for Diddy Ciroc and the success behind that. They put millions of dollars behind making Ciroc a big name vodka. Is it vodka? It's vodka. Tequila? No, Ciroc wasn't tequila? Yeah, it's vodka. Okay, but Dalian is tequila. Okay, and I mean, Ciroc is still somewhat successful. Now, he since partnered with, you know, to get his daily on off the ground and stuff like that. And it's still on the ground. It's not off the ground yet. He even sent me a box and I wouldn't even shout it out. Because it's really not, I mean, now I want to support my black people, but not on the backs of women that he's had to unalive. Allegedly, okay. I'm sure the feds are going to go through all that paperwork and figure it out. They're going to be exhuming graves here. They're going to go all the way back to the heavy D. Like, how everybody in your damn camp just, just gone. Now, so Diageo North America has had severe problems with his marketing when it comes to Daily Yon, because they're giving millions of dollars, but he's not using the money to market. All he's doing is, you know, screwing girls like Young Miami. Mm-hmm. And Young Miami, he gives her a show on his own network, Revolt, and has every single uh, uh, talent over there promoting Daily Yon. And it's like, for what? Why do we need to pay you $15 million to market and you keeping the money? So, you know, Diageo said, that's enough, we're done here. And now with the recent egregious allegations, okay, going on, and one was just another one was just filed today. Where is DJ Khaled when you need one? Another one was just filed today, okay? Filed with the same lawyer, the same exact lawyer that came and got Cassie's uh, money in under 24 hours or less, okay? I, that's a damn, that's a 7-Eleven, that's a Waffle House check. She got that same day. Look, then she filed that lawsuit. Eight hours later, it was closed out. Deleted from the search engine. <laughs> we got our copies, though. We didn't get no money, but we got our copies. And she left She left crumbs. She left crumbs. And so one little girl, uh, uh, we're not going to, you know, I reveal her identity. I don't think her identity is revealed anyway, but she did provide pictures. But she went to that same lawyer. Now, this lawsuit had to have been pending. They wanted Cassie. I'm telling you, this lawyer is a strategist. I got to start studying this lawyer for real. This lawyer is a strategist. I mean, he's very strategic. He, she, or whoever is 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 uh, spearheading this New York Survivors Act. Uh, um, these last little bit of lawsuits. I mean, the legs are just huge. For them to come in and get Cassie mon money under 24 hours, I'm sorry, eight hours or less, and then another young lady that claims that she was 17 years old was flown out. I'm trying to figure out who was her parents. Was she Sparkle's niece too? Shit, God. How are these children getting on flights? Who is giving the ID? Could you fly back then without an ID or something? What was it like back then? The fly, I think she flew from like Michigan or something to Manhattan and went to a studio with grown men. Where was your mammy? Now, I'm not, I'm not trying to justify this, but at the end of the day, it's like, come on. But these guys were influential. I mean, just figures. They were very powerful, y'all. I'm like, how she get across state lines and she, she was trafficked? So when she got there, she was told to sit on Diddy lap. Before she know it, she was being, you know, shoved with alcohol and things like that. And then she was in and out, and him and his colleague, Pierre Harvey, and another guy that she don't know proceeded to one after another and then sent her home, back on a flight. And she said she didn't want to talk about it because she knew how powerful he was, but with Cassie saying something, she saved her evidence and went to see the same lawyer, and that lawyer said, well, you know, this should go real fast. But Diddy said, hold up. Diddy said, wait a minute. Take that, take that. Okay, so Diddy took to his Instagram and finally said something. And this is what Diddy had to say. He said, enough is enough. 
For the last couple of weeks, I've sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. I didn't know he had a reputation. I didn't know. Legacy, you got to die first. You got to die first, okay? Um, sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Not sickening, I agree with. Quick payday. You gave the quickest payday on law file. In the history of civil suits, sir, you gave the quickest payday ever. This lawyer is going to be studied. Because even when I read that lawsuit, I think that was the first lawsuit that ever have a trigger warning. And it needed one. So let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of these awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth, Sean Diddy Combs. What happened to love? I thought he changed his name to love. They said don't use that word. Why is his thumbnail and stuff looking like he he a demon, like a like he a leader of the devil's pack sitting on a black chair? You see his thumbnail on Instagram? Like he's sitting up there like he's just, uh, welcome to hell. Now, if you was going to fight for your name, family, and for the truth, why you just didn't counter sue for defamation? You paid out so fast, Diddy, I'm coming. <laughs> Diddy, I'm going to make up some shit. Okay? That, that, that is the fastest way that I'm going to make. I'm going to use AI to generate whatever I got to generate. You're going to pay me, bro. You're going to pay me. And you know this ain't nobody came out to defend him at all but Joe Budden. <laughs> Ooh, Joe gonna hit the text later. It's okay, Joe. I'll fix you a plate next time I see. Nah. Um, yeah, I'm just like, why you just didn't file for defamation? You know, there's things for these. You don't just close out. You close out real fast because they sued your businesses and your businesses didn't want to be a part of this. And so everybody's dropping you. You know, influences are leaving revolt. One claimed that he left revolt because of the egregious allegations <laughs> that went on with Diddy, but that's not what happened. He left revolt because revolt wasn't giving him any money. And he's like, well, quote, if Tasha Kay doesn't have any money behind her and she's making all this noise and I don't need you, Diddy. But I'm like, you went from platform to platform to platform, Dash Radio, iHeart Radio, Revolt. I mean, you sat with everybody and still nothing. Pissily. Jason P. Pissily. Jason P. Pissily. Talk about how was Tasha K doing? It's just Tasha K. It's the gift. I, mean, I don't know what to tell you. And I, and I don't sweat while I'm doing it because you look real clammy. You look wet. You look pissy. <laughs> Okay, and so even young Miami out here trying to clean up her image, and uh, she's helping Diddy. Mm-hmm. She made sure she kept them nails white. Um, as you know. Oh yeah, real quick. Let me interrupt this for a public service announcement. I'm drinking the Chardonnay. Okay, this is called the Monterey. Hold on, the silver, the Marisolel silver Chardonnay. I've never had this one. It's absolutely great. It's really buttery. It's, oh, hold on. sorry, Jasmine, I'm a little lit already. It's really buttery. It's a real thick on the palate. It's kind of heavy. I can feel it kind of, you know, working, but I like white wine because it don't get me too thawed, okay? This is the 2021 flavor. And if you like apples with a little buttery taste to it, not, I'm not saying like butter, butter, but we're talking about the texture of it. You understand what I'm saying? But the flavor is more apple, more green apple, more crisp. I even taste a little bit of grape on it too, like um, green grapes, even though it's made out of green grapes, but I taste the grapes because normally you don't taste the grapes, okay? And that's the problem. That's why a lot of people don't like wine, okay? I do not know how much we pay for this. I'm sure it came from Publix because it's right across the street from us, okay? And so I'll get back to you on that price. But if you want to Google it to find out right now what it is, it is the Marisolet Silver 2021, okay? Grown in California, and it is a Chardonnay. And I like it. I ain't going to lie now. I like it, okay? <sighs> All righty. Now, back to what we were just talking about. Okay? So, we got a lot of people here. Now, I'm going to tell you what he's been trying to do. He said he's fighting for his name, his legacy, and his reputation. 
So that's Cassie at the top, right? She looked real different right there. Okay. All right, and that's Diddy, and that's Wale, and that's Young Miami. Young Miami popped up in the studio with Hitmaker. Young Miami has never, ever posted anything in the studio. We know she don't write. She show up and record. And so for one of Diddy's girls to all of a sudden be in a studio with all of those men, and you notice that they're strategically putting the camera on all of those men, and she's Diddy's, she's Diddy's number one girl, not the only one, the number one. Go, Poppy! Go, Poppy! Go, Poppy! He's basically trying to prove, and he's setting up his defense for this Rico case that he about to get, and I'm trying to tell you what's coming down the pipe, that he don't uh, get jealous when his women work with other men in the studio, because remember, let's go back to those pictures. There was a young man that came out and said that he had witnessed Wale. And this is why Wale's career ended, allegedly. He got scared. Uh -huh. mm. Working with Cassie. And he warned everybody in the studio, studio, Wale did, not to go near Cassie, not to touch Cassie. They didn't. He did. Diddy came up in there with bodyguards, took him to the back, and held him over the balcony in his temple. His Timberlands was like, you know, holding him together because he was working too close to Cassie. That's in the lawsuit. Cassie left a lot of crumbs. Now, Wale has since come out to say, this wasn't no fire heartbeat scene. <laughs> and we said, well, wait a minute, Wale. Cassie said it. And then an eyewitness that don't even really know you like that said it. He was with another group and happened to be there. You come out coincidentally to denounce saying this wasn't no five heartbeat situation here. But everybody else says it happened but you. And, sir, we ain't seen nothing from you regarding your career ever since because we know Diddy is known to shut down careers. Ask Kid Cuddy. So are you saying he didn't blow up Kid Cuddy's car? Is that what you're saying, Wale? Because you don't want you don't want to be part. I mean, it does get a bitch, Wally. It does. And if that really happened, for all of that that you be singing and praising to black women, because I like you, Wale. I like you. I really do. I think you're really poetic. But if you are really gonna go on record to say that this didn't happen after Cassie named this in her lawsuit, somebody came out and said this way before you said anything, way before the lawsuit came out. These two witnesses and the person that happened to just happened to be lying, but you telling the truth. But you want to preach to black women and women in general about the queens and the goddesses they are, but you going to let a you going to let a gay nigga bitch you. Did I say that right? You going to let a gay you going to let a gay man with thick thighs and a fat ass punk you and hold you over a balcony allegedly. And we ain't seen you or them shoes that he held you by since. And you're Miami. Let me tell you something. I got something. I got something big. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Okay? And so y'all remember there was several male escorts, right? Well, let's just say we know a few. So much so the same escorts that were serving Cassie on Diddy's behalf and beating up Cassie were called for Young Miami. Their words, not mine. And they feel so bad at what happened to Cassie. They want to come out and do the right thing, but I think they want to be paid. I don't pay. But what I do tell is the truth. Okay? Mm hmm And when they ended that call, collaborative, to say that Diddy called them for Young Miami, no wonder she's in the studio trying to prove that Diddy ain't jealous. Look how many men in that studio, she the only woman. You think that's coincidence? But look how she paying attention to that phone. Diddy probably in the back. Crisis PR is working. They working on Diddy's behalf. They working. But remember, 
We were the first to ever bring a woman that was allegedly punched while she was pregnant, thrown downstairs, all types of stuff in front of her baby. And none of y'all wanted to believe it. Y'all laughed at her. Y'all said, oh, because you ain't black. This didn't happen to you. But in another Blasian girl, she just happens to be half black, but Gina is full Asian. We don't need no picture. We don't need no picture. Now y'all want to believe her because Cassie got a little black. He been doing this. Kim Porter been told y'all. But it seemed like as the years went on, y'all just forgot. But these are real women out here. And Wale, like I said, if you're going to be out here on that, every, every single poet, poem that you wrote to me, I'm giving it back. Because I sure was crazy about Wale. I love me a good, dark-skinned African that can speak well. It's my weakness. That's why Shaq don't let me around no other Africans. They can smell my cat. All right, moving on. Real quick, okay, before we give y'all um, this Kenzie interview, okay, this is a short version for YouTube, the extended version where it got really thick because I almost got in trouble for that Sydney Star T.S. Madison interview. It was way too much cussing, and I had to plead with YouTube. See, y'all be getting me in trouble. Y'all really do. There was so much cussing and stuff in there. It was just crazy. And I was like, I really wanted y'all to see what be going on on TashaKLive.com. And y'all don't believe me. Some of the $12 is too expensive. And I'm like, what? $12? Shit, that ain't but two gallons of gas. The hell? 40 cents a day. That's what I'm going to start saying. 40 cents a day will get you... The greatest, best content in the world. Everybody knows it goes down raw and uncensored on TashaKLive.com and now that's TV.net, okay? And so to the man in wig that tried to jump on me and Shaq and, and the whole security team had to hold him down because the testosterone came out. The misogyny came out. I said, there's only two people that want to beat on women, men and men in wigs. Listen. It's a lot going on, okay? We got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means boldly raise a glass to hold that thought. We'll be right back after the break. Let's go, okay? So we got Big Mac in the damn wine cellar. Deja Vu. I got to tell you, if anybody got Deja Vu season two, of course, one of the stars. If anybody deserves, like, you know how they got the the, the, the belts, the heavyweight the belts. champion? <laughs> and I'm going to talk to Duke. We. You put that motherfucker to sleep. First of all, let's let's talk about what happened between you and Duke, because nobody really got no true answers. No. It seemed like y'all was thrown in the house, and then you, it looked like you was fucking with Duke first. Like, you was just talking shit, and you kept talking shit, and he was getting mad because people were saying that he was gay for pay. And that ain't none of my business. You hear me? I never, if you look on the show, I never one time said it. Even when they asked the whole cast, who y'all think? My answer was, I'm speaking on another nigga's sexuality. That's his business, because I'm really not worried about it. Yeah. And he always tried to come from for all his aggression towards me. And I felt like it's because the type of nigga I am, I'm smiling all the time, I'm funny. Yeah. You would think that I'm the weakest link. Like, you would think, oh, it's easy to get to him. I'm small, I'm not that big of a dude. So when you looking at me, and you might think I'm gonna give you the benefit of doubt, which I am but not too much. It felt, I was like, why are they picking on this dude? It felt like y'all was bullying him. I'm gonna tell you the only reason why me and him got into it because if you really seen the episode, you see me, I was playing with all the women. At, this felt like high school, I'm gonna keep it 100. We in this house, ain't no rules. We getting drunk all day, we partying, everything for free. Food, drinks, Yeah, they put y'all in a $50,000 a night pad. Come on, we having a ball. In There's Vegas. There's women around here. Uh -huh. But me and Duke and uh, Freddie P was smoking earlier. We cool. We like, okay, we boys. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So when I said to Duke, y'all don't let them just do me like this. I was saying, come join in on me. I'm getting jumped on by the females. Let's get in on yeah. this. Yeah. I feel like, man, I wasn't never like trying to like come at him in no disrespectful way. I, I honestly was just joking. The nigga got in the lane with Mac, and he got hit with a motherfucking Mac truck. And that was the big Mac truck. The other day was the little Mac truck, but that day he got ran the fuck over. When I'm talking about the whole audience went crazy, like everybody, ah, 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 you, you embarrass yourself, buddy. Y'all don't hype this thing up! For what? That's what I'm talking about! Night, night, night. Night. Wake me back up! Let me go, bro, I ain't doing nothing. I don't like all that shit. Wake this nigga back up! No, you good, you good. Wake me back up! 
good. Somebody get that nigga a pillow. And we're back. Sorry, I was looking at some notes and stuff. I'm all late. I was supposed to be already hitting the wine glass and stuff. I'm just a little behind. My chicken's still baking. I'm hoping Tonto ain't burning it. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of things on my mind because, you know, I'm a wife. I wash my nigga drunks, okay? I really do. All right, so before we get this interview started, I want to tell you what's coming up on TashaKLive.com right after this. At se- what time are we going live on TashaKLive.com? Okay, at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? Definitely going to be talking about Rick Ross's new baby. Mm-hmm. Nelly's secret baby, Okay. Monica and C murder. I'm a little confused about that because didn't she post somebody earlier this year? Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out when did you have time to get it. Rel- we're going we're gonna to talk about that, okay? Kenzie's full interview will also be available on TashaKLive.com right after our TashaKLive.com live, okay? Who else are we going to be talking about? Let me see. Let me make sure I get all the topics so you know what the hell we're working, we're working with, okay? Give me one second. I got, I got it right here. I got my little notes. You know, my mind a little slow today. It's a little slow, but it ain't too slow. Kirk Frost. Definitely going to be talking about Kirk Frost and Rashida and all them kids he got. Uh, definitely going to be discussing Lil Boosie, Vladimir Putin, and uh, much, much more, okay? All of that more coming up on TashaKLive.com for 40 cents a day, which equals out to $12 a month, all right? I'm going to start running with that 40 cents a day since everybody's saying it's so expensive. For 40 cents a day, it gets you some of the best gossip ever. And don't forget, Bondi Blue is over there. We're streaming movies, uh, documentaries, TV shows, okay? Going to gonna be having some other creators uh, over there as well, too. Trying to make it a one-stop shop for gossip. For mess. This is a mess. We were going through a lot out here on social media. We be flagging our pages and everything. We just need a safe space. You feel me? Okay? Hit the wide glass if you already got your subscription to TashaKLive.com, okay? Now, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and give you this man in wig that tried to jump on me during the Deja Vu Season 2 reunion, okay? I give you Kenzie. Let's get it. You know this conversation needed to happen. Yes, a lot of need to be happening. A lot of need to be understood. Yes. I agree. So me and you, I feel, got off way on the wrong foot. Okay? And so I know everybody's seen the trailer. It's come out. The show's going to be coming out this Sunday. I'm that one, bitch. I'm that one. Bitch, I'm that one. Bitch, I'm that one. Bitch, I'm that one. Um, I was contracted by your employer to host a reunion and to keep up with y'all's lives. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, y'all are entering into a space that I'm sure that you're not used to always being on camera, every single thing you do, being scrutinized, being judged, people in your DM saying whatever, and then you're part of the LGBTQ, so that makes it worse. And then you're black, that makes it worse. And so when you and I met, I'm going to be honest with you, Kenzie, I was excited to meet you. <laughs> oh, that was exciting. That wasn't exciting. I know. And, and I was trying to tell you that. Like, what I saw, you have to understand, right? I'm a woman, right? I don't, um, I don't condone nobody putting hands on nobody, right? And so watching y'all on Deja Vu, I was like, I really thought it was staged. I really did. I didn't know. Um, now that CB is real raw, we do everything um, how it comes to us. Well, at least I do. I can't speak for nobody else because I stand on business. Um, a lot of motherfuckers do a lot of shit for TV. I don't do that for TV. I do that because at the end of the day, this is who I am. I'm going to fight for who I am. And this is what I came to do. This is what I'm hired to do. And uh, me being judged a lot because of the stuff that I do, um, 
it comes with the, it comes with it. I don't even get mad at it no more because at the end of the day, this is what I opened my life up to. So you were really mad at me. At the I, I was mad. I was really mad. You wanted to kill me. No, I didn't. And I would, I, I would never go. I was never going to touch you at all. You know, I spice things up. I get things rolling because if I don't do it, nobody else is going to do it. Everybody sits and they look at me to create every storyline and drama. And if it wasn't for me, it wouldn't have went the way it would have went. See, I've, yeah. I've never been the type to sugarcoat anything, especially in the at any given moment, okay? Now, I could have a But you got to be able to back that shit up sometimes, Sasha, because your uh, mouth is filthy, girl. I don't fight. You're, you don't have to fight, but girl, your mouth make you make a bitch want to just... I know, that's Right fine. in your mouth. That's fine. <laughs> Excuse me. That's because, it, yeah. And that's fine. Like, but that's that's lacking emo... That's lacking self-control. You understand what I'm saying? That's self-control I'm when you talk to people. Yeah. And I'm 26, girl. You should have... Exactly. Me. If you give me more love in Tasha... If you had gave me more loving and you give people more loving. I'm giving be, you love now. But I'm saying and prior to disrespecting, then now you want to give love. I was in the heat of the moment. I saw a trans woman. But you seen it on TV before. Beating up. Yeah, and I thought it was stage. I didn't think it was real. Nothing is on not as TV. It's stage. We're a real raw. That's why we have what the people that we And I told them they need to put y'all in different houses. No, because you need to do your research. <laughs> No, you need to do your research on how what, what we bring to the table, and I feel like that's where it was a fuck up on their end because it should have warned you about us because we're we, we're nothing to play with. This is not no scripted. You stop here, you stop here. They put us in a house like this, and whatever happened happens. The the film is going to catch it. The camera's going to catch it. There's no editing nothing out. There's no oh I got so much love for you, Kenzie. I'm not going to put that out. They're going to put it out because they want those ratings. They want all. They want all of it. The more numbers you do, is more time people are going to watch your show. But at the end of the day, they should have told you, Kenzie is a real raw bitch, and she don't care. Well, I mean, even if you're real raw, like I have always, but respectful, popped my shit. You understand know what, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it doesn't matter. And I'm like, and if I get my ass whooped, popping my shit. I'm still, I'm, I'm like a, a like a Malcolm X bitch. You kill me, bitch. I'm still gonna be talking shit. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to die talking shit. That's just me because I'm I'm just, you know, I do this. This is what I do. But you can't disrespect in the process. It's Tasha. not disrespecting yeah, what I saw. You told a, a, a trans woman, you still a nigga. You got a dick between your legs. I mean, you said that too. When? On the show. I never said that. You said there's no reason for these trans women who are born men to be putting their hands on a female. Yes. I just said it a little bit raw. You got a dick. You ain't got no business putting your hands on a woman. You can't say Period. that. Period. You, you ain't got no business putting your hand on a woman anyway. I don't. Nobody should be having put their hands on nobody. Period. You can't say and that. And y'all so young. I'm like this. This is ridiculous. I'm 41. You're 26. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't live. I'm like you don't need to put your hands on nobody. Nobody. Because no. at the end of the day, I heard y'all fight and then y'all go out drinking together later. I don't do that. I, I Let me tell you what I do. I'm I'm a person of character. I'm a person of dignity. I'm a person that, that really stand on business. I'm a person that I can beat your ass right now mm -hmm. and forgive you in the same sentence. That's you, what, you, you know why? Well, why? Because I've been stabbed at 14. And that person who stabbed me, I forgave him right away. Don't mean we have to be cool. Don't mean we have to go out. Why were you stabbed? Why would somebody stab you at I 14? I was stabbed at 14 and I died twice from the operating table. I'm, I'm meant to be here. What happened? My brother who passed away last year. He I'm got sorry an to hear that. And the guy was fighting him. He's much older than him. And he's much older than me as well. I'm 26, so he's probably 30, 31 now. And instead of him... He was fought my brother, bust his nose, and then I came and do my little one, two with him, and he stabbed me in my chest. So that kind of humbled me a lot. Do you see? That's why y'all should not be, because you just never know what people, like, it's it's okay to, like, I come from a family, from the country, we argue, fuss, cuss, you know, your aunties cuss you out. Okay, cool. It kind of builds your character. It builds your emotional stability. But to take it there, to put your hands on somebody, you don't know how people are going to take it. Like when Mac, when I talked to Mac, Mac went and got a motherfucking bottle, uh, uh, goddamn opener after he had already knocked Duke out on the, on the damn season. Cause at that point, they and he's like, to... I 
kill you. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm thinking, I'm like, this gotta be staged. Yeah, no, it's not staged because at that point, people reached their people, people reach their limits. Because this boy telling y'all he didn't he don't want to fight no more. And y'all still let this boy attack me. Just like every season, every time that I come on to that TV and I, I do good and I get all the recognition, here they come. Bringing some little lap dog to try to jump on me. That's the second time they didn't did it to me, and they will not be a third. They did it with persuasion for South Central Betty season three. She was not even on my season. Then they brought Cologne for supposedly Judy and Big Lex. They all lap dogs. They all talk about each other. They all sucking and fucking on the same dick. I don't do that. I didn't have to fucking suck to get my weight to the top. Let's be clear. I was never nobody ho. I never. <laughs> no. How do you feel about Cologne said? Cologne said in my interview that you, uh, sh that I guess that he heard that you was prostituting and selling your body for twenty dollars. That's a lie. And if I do that, he stay at home with his mammy, and I got my own house. Okay. He stay at home with his mammy, bringing out a shop that's not his. I don't have to do that. Okay. The money that you do, I can suck a dick for it. You're right. I can suck a dick. The, the $400 that you make and bring here, I can do that in 20 minutes and I'll be okay. That's the difference between me and him. If I'm going to sell anything, I'm going to get some money for it. 20 okay. minutes. Okay. 20 minutes for five and 6000 That's 2, how much you can pay? 2000 I'm not no cheap bitch. I, if I do what I do, <laughs> yes, I do what I do. And I'm not ashamed of it. $5,000? Girl, you want to see my cash app? Yes, I want to see. Let me see the niggas too. <laughs> now we get it somewhere. <laughs> Girl, niggas Look. do not play with me. <clears throat> niggas do not play. At the end of the day, it's just like. So are they paying you for your silence? Or are they paying you for your service? What is this? Because T.S. Madison said, y'all, y'all see it? T.S. Madison said, Y'all are essentially paid to be quiet. It's not, I mean, you're gonna pay for my I don't give a fuck about it. I don't talk anyway, but I don't give a fuck about no silence. I want my coin. I have shit to do. But I also have four degrees as well. And what? <laughs> Biology, social work. I have uh, physics and I have, uh, I'm taking business. Yeah. Military too. Yeah, the way you fucking uh, push that damn chair over, I knew you had done done some goddamn drill somewhere. We are at the Deja Vu season two Las Vegas reunion, and I got my girl Tasha K with me. Hey, shit is already turned up. You thought you got me home, but you swung on me in the car. I slept in a drink, bitch. And hey, hey, I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. You a nigga. You. It is respectful, and I don't go for that. You would say that because you've been pimped your whole life. Don't do that now. You got a whole dick between your legs. Beat you. You didn't check shit, bitch. You gonna have another nigga beat your ass? I'm gonna kill this hoe right now. Move. I didn't buy my shit. Get it right, bitch. Your pussy been on the internet for years. You just done took me on a whirlwind. Like, it's just so much to you. Like, I just can't. But I, I expected this. I just like, I was like, I'm gonna go here today because she she really, she really needs to know the difference between other motherfuckers and other motherfuckers. Uh -huh. Other motherfuckers ain't other motherfuckering. Uh -huh. I'm motherfuckering. Uh huh. And I, I just feel like we just started off on the wrong foot. You said some hurtful things to me, and I was still upset, Tasha. I, I swear because the end of the day, like, I took. But you realize who's it? It was it was an anger because I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now? Like, we yeah, trying to host the damn. You should have because you looked at me. You said, Kenzie, and why you not doing? I'm just yeah. I'm like, why the fuck you ain't fight? doing motherfucking thing? Because <laughs> at first it was like, oh, Kenzie, you got my lap dog and all of this and all of that and this and you just following. I got so much bad ass and all this bullshit. I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna sit my ass right here, look cute, dress like a teacher, and what? All I saw, I was just like, and I told Holly, and Holly was like, it's okay for a man to hit a woman if a woman hit a man. I'm like, Holly, it's not okay either fucking way because there are women out here that are losing their lives. To men. Period. And that's trans women. That shit is not cool, bro. 
to men because of women, what women make a man feel. A man loves what he loves, but a man honor and respect do you think, a do black you, you woman. You think it's women or you don't think it's other men? Because what I see go on women. is other men making fun of other men for being what they are. Mm -mm, I don't what? see the women. Women, yeah. we like... You cool. The one who the, the one who's making fun of, of the other <clears throat> man is the one who's really, really want that man. Homeboys that always be homeboys. Why are you going over uh John John house so early in the morning? And why you why I can't get no attention? Why y'all always gotta play? Why why they y'all can never come here? I can cook for all y'all. Y'all hang out so much. That's your that's your brother, right? Well, that's my brother too. Because it's you my nigga, right? Something happened to John John, you gonna cry to me around him, right? Why they can't come to my house? Why you why they can't come to the house? Men's is sneaky. We know men are sneaky and they stupid sneaky. Stupid, They're not the sneaky smartest. And careless. So that's why I'm saying be careful. Be careful because uh yeah, men is sneaky. And I ain't gonna say too much because that's not my business, but niggas. No, say. Say what you got to say. John John ain't John John. And Mark ain't Mark. <laughs> Listen, I just find it hard to believe that y'all are blaming women for I'm not. men being misogynistic and controlling. And we've been trying our damnness our whole life. A man will beat your ass. Right now, we'll okay. beat your ass. A oh, man won't be. I ain't never had a man put his hand on me. No, I'm just. Not, oh yeah, not, yeah, I know. You're in jail. Yeah, he will beat your ass, kiss you on your forehead, and walk out the door and be texting like I'm getting the tour with this bitch right now, so I can have an excuse to leave and come see us and pay us. Ten minutes. Okay, cool. And pay us. And then y'all at home crying and he beat my ass. He took my car key. He broke my phone. He just in this, and he over there getting his dick up, getting his ass, bopping his pussy all in people's beds. Niggas ain't niggas no more. Those big ones, they ain't niggas no more. What are they? Bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> they are gay. They are, it's, it's a difference between a man being attracted to trans women because it's called trans attracted, but it's a difference between a man wanting to play the opposite role. So do you think Gucci's gay? Cause you said I don't think Gucci's gay. I just you, think did you suck attractive. Gucci's dick? Listen, we ain't finna go there because I, I, it's, it's I, 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 I gotta get. I was contracted I mean, to I, get the wine. I, I'm 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 in a cool space with Gucci, mm -hmm. and me and Gucci has came to the conclusion where we're just both not going to talk on it no more. Mm. And I give bro bro that respect. What we did or what happened behind closed doors, it shouldn't have got this far. Mm. But at the end of the day. It was on the TV. I just addressed what was on the TV. Well, that Gucci. Um, so I'm not saying that he's gay. I'm I not ain't saying say that, that he's straight. I'm not saying that he's not trained attracted. But I choose not to speak on that situation. Cat got a tongue. Cat got him tongue. Listen, that full interview is available because they get real thick, okay, on TashaKLive.com. Matter of fact, we're about to head over to TashaKLive.com. All right, definitely going to be talking about Monica and C. Murder and this love triangle that she's going through. Definitely going to be talking about Nelly's secret baby, Rick Ross's new baby. Who else we going to be discussing? Vladimir Putin, Bootsy, and much, much more, okay? All of that coming up. On TashaKLive.com at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank y'all so much for watching. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe, okay? Don't forget, for this particular show and for TashaKLive.com, we are drinking the Marisol Silver. I'm going to start hitting Jasmine to get y'all the wine list out sooner so you'll know what we're drinking on for the week so we can all sip together. Because let me tell you something, y'all almost made me cry. When we was at the Atlanta show, and then I was like, we got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means Bowley Razor Glass. Well, y'all all raised our glass at the same time. I was just like, they really be raising their glass. It was, it was such a sick.
synchronizing moment. I was like, they really, they really fucking windows. Like, that shit was heavy. I really fuck with y'all, okay? Listen, okay, but yes, we are about to head over to TashaKLive.com right now. Uh, for this interview tomorrow, we will be featuring uh, more celebrity gossip, okay, on YouTube as well as TashaKLive.com. And we'll be introducing Big Mag, okay? Big Mag with the missing tooth. I think he lost it eating a Big Mag. But I think you're really going to like this one, okay? I got to show some balance, you know? I know y'all mad at the men in wigs, but these are real people with real lives. They're not given any type of script. And they take these troubled people off of the damn streets, throw them in a room, and say, go. And then they got me there mediating trying to figure out what's going on with their lives because I mean ultimately they all embarrassing themselves on social media and they don't believe me when I say it now but one day they will they will we're five years ahead remember five years ahead hell I just had Holly if you watch the Deja, uh, Deja Vu season two reunion on tv.net. And I just had Holly tell me in a live, she said, Tasha, I didn't know until you said, and she was dead serious, because uh, she was like, I didn't know until you said that it was so wrong for a trans woman to hit a, to hit a woman, because the doctor told me when he busted my lip and made me unconscious that they only lose 5% of their muscle taking estrogen. And I'm looking at her like, you dumb. Yeah, y'all got to see me cuss that white girl out, too, because I, I just wasn't with that. You ain't finna be trafficked by our men and tell us that it's okay to be trafficked and beat by our men. They our men. You don't get to do that. Do that with your cracker. Not with our niggas. Okay? Now that's TV.net. Make sure you download. But we are about to head up to TashaKLive.com. Uh, 40 cents a day equals out to $12. I promise you I'm going to start using that, okay? Now they see it, all right? And we got a whole lineup waiting on y'all. Again, thank y'all so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, okay? Uh, share the video, like the video, talk about the video. You can DM me if you have tips on your favorite celebrities to Unwind with Tasha K on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or you can email me your favorite tips on your favorite celebrities at unwindwithtashak at gmail.com. If you want to advertise on the platform, on any of the platforms, hit us at ads at tashaklive.com. Again, thank Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. And if you did like this video, hell, you can still cuss my ass out anyway. What the hell? I done forgot my own damn line. Yeah, it, you can still subscribe anyway. Just so you can cuss my ass out anyway. Now I got to go. Bye. Say bye, Teddy. I'll see y'all on TashaKLive.com at 730. Bye.